Alpha 9 is a small fire team of Spartan Force super soldiers under the command of Spartan Edward Buck. Formerly a small team of UNSC Marine Orbital Dropshot Troopers, the team's roster changed drastically over the Human Covenant War and the post-war era, with the remnants eventually becoming Spartan Force super soldiers within a single fire team. Alpha 9 Few squads within the ODST were more proficient and reliable than Alpha-9. After playing a key role in the final days of the Covenant War, their squad suffered the death of one member and betrayal from another, only to be reforged in the end as a powerful Spartan fire team aboard the UNSC Infinity. The foremost member and leader of Alpha-9, Gunnery Sergeant Edward Buck. Over a quarter of a century in combat in the Marine Corps, Edward Buck was a veteran ODST with an already impressive legacy as a leader before becoming a Spartan IV. The gunnery sergeant's infectious bravery, unbroken loyalty, and sacrificial leadership defined his service for years, contributing to his selection for Oni's operation in New Mombasa, a pivotal event that helped bring the war to conclusion. Buck was handpicked by Spartan IV Chief of Staff Jun A266 for integration into the Burgundy Branch, but when betrayal forced Alpha 9 to dissolve, he was briefly attached to Fireteam Osiris aboard the UNSC Infinity. Critical circumstances eventually demanded the reactivation of his old team, and he soon found himself again at the helm of Alpha 9. Former Pelican crew chief Michael Crespo served as Alpha 9's demolitions expert in the field, proving his skill and loyalty during several critical battles in the closing months of the war. The moral dilemma presented by fighting against humans, however, drastically shifted Mickey's allegiances after the conflict was over, leading him to join the United Rebel Front while a Spartan IV. This betrayal nearly decimated what little had remained of Alpha 9. Mickey has since been fully reinstated with Alpha 9 though the UNSC is closely monitoring his activity. A highly skilled marksman and sniper, Kojo Agu's warfighting abilities are only rifled by his contentious, abrasive behavior and his irrelevant charm, the latter of which earned him the nickname Romeo. Despite their antagonistic relationship, Romeo continued to fight by Buck's side during the squad's transition into a Spartan fire team. Mickey's challenging betrayal further reinforced Romeo's commitment to Alpha 9. Romeo's talent with the sniper rifle proved particularly useful during a series of strikes against the creative's network of armager enforcers, neutralizing the enemy's access to strategic sensor relays, which enabled the UNSC Infinity to safely monitor their movement. Once a road driver on Mars, Taylor Miles fought as an ODST alongside Kojo Agu and Gretchen Katola his future wife, prior to joining Alpha 9. Dutch's faith and optimism was severely tested when the rookie was tragically killed, causing him to briefly leave the Corps. Eventually, he returned to Alpha 9, this time alongside his wife as a Spartan, stronger and more confident than ever before. Dutch remains the rock of his team, a compassionate and clear-headed soldier whose raw skill in combat and unwavering loyalty never need to be questioned. Amen. Serving with both Romeo and Dutch before they joined Alpha 9, Gretchen Katola was a remarkable ODST known for her fearlessness and even glee in the face of death. During a fateful operation on ballast, she lost her left leg when she stepped on an insurrectionist landmine. The physical and psychological trauma of this event caused her to leave the Marines, even if it meant being physically away from Dutch, whom she had recently married. After the war, she accepted an offer to return to combat her body reforged into that of a Spartan. Likely the most known in the squad, Rookie. The ODST often referred to by his squad as the Rookie was integrated into Alpha 9 just prior to the Covenant's siege of New Mombasa, where he assisted in securing the Tier 1 asset Oni was looking for. He remained with Alpha 9 after the war when the team was redeployed to engage a myriad of new threats, including rebels on Draco 3, where he tragically died while fighting alongside his team. His death was a decisive moment for the team, creating deep wounds that would not be quickly healed. A captain with Anoni's Section 1, Veronica Dare originally selected Alpha 9 for the classified operation in New Mombasa because of her confidence in Buck's ability to complete the mission, even despite the relationship hardships they endured. Although not formally a member, 
She has been closely tied to Alpha 9 since then, and presently serves as Oni's primary field analyst on the UNSC Infinity. DARE's operational parameters were largely unrestricted under Captain Lasky's command, due in part to her undaunted courage and relentless personality. Take my advice, rookie. You ever fall for a woman? Make sure she's got balls. <laughs>